Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome all you guys and gals. My name is Valak and we are going to be going over one of the most favorite maps of Valorant and that is Fracture. Fracture is a split map that you can get on site on both sides, which makes it particularly difficult if you don't have any smokes, walls, or well, any sort of skill at all. There's one thing about Astra that I want to make very, very clear, and that is the area of effect that a lot of people don't realize is a thing. Let's get into that. Just to show you guys what the area of effect is. So let's say we go here. That whole circle is going to be your area of effect. That is the one big thing that I really want to make very, very clear because a lot of people think it's just flat. It's not. It's a circle. It's a sphere. Okay. All right. And what we're going to do first is we're going to be going from the B side arcade. See right here. We got this this side going here. Okay. We will be looking at four different spots. We want to keep the extra star just in case we need it uh, for later on. First thing we want to do is we want to put a star here. Star here. Star here. And a star here. Okay. So if you guys don't know where those what I'm talking about, first thing well, let's get into astro mode and we'll tell you about it. So first star, we want to put right about here, kind of as close as we can get to this corner, but uh, we also want to be fa fairly far back in case they're kind of sitting back. Um, this isn't going to get everything, but it will get most of people waiting here that are, you know, holding this site. So go here. And we're just going to do these one by one, and then now at the end, I'll show you how it goes all, uh, it goes to plan. So we want to walk up as we're walking up. I'm going to take a look, kind of juggle peek this. No, nothing there. Juggle peek that, juggle peek that. But as I'm about to juggle peek the right side, I want to pull him in, look, and take a look, okay? Now we have, obviously you shouldn't do this by yourself, you should have more than one person doing this, uh, but you know, it's just one option, okay? You can do it by yourself, but you just have to be quick to, you know, do the two. All right, next thing we're gonna go is over here. We're gonna go over here, this side, and we wanna throw one right here. Now we have a few options. We could throw them back here. Um, you do, you could do that too. You could throw uh, a black hole over here as well. But I think that it's more important to worry about over here and get on site first and then worry about back here once the star goes away. So really there's not much to it. Um, I'm actually gonna do these three all at once because they're kind of go in sequence. So this next one we want to put um, right here, right on this kind of corner here. We might be able to get closer, I believe we can. No, we can't. Okay. And then the next one we kind of want to throw over here. Okay. So as we're coming here, before I come around this corner, I'm vulnerable right here, right? There could be someone right here, maybe someone right here, maybe someone just kind of cheeky being right there. So before I pull this corner, I already, I just use my black hole right there. So what I want to do is I want to stun them here. Open this, open this, this way, one person go over here, boom, boom, boom. Other person goes over here, checks here, make sure the stun person here is, while that person's doing that, there should be someone looking over here, checking this corner, okay? But what this does is it separates out the site a little bit so that you have a little bit more room to work with. And as long as your teammates are paying attention to all the corners, you should have about you know 15 to 20 seconds to uh, get on site and get things ready. That last star, if you want to use us, we got one, two, three, four. We have one last star. What we're going to do with that? Well, that's entirely up to you, depending on the situation. However, I personally still like to look this one off. Um, you can go there, which is still pretty good. But another one I kind of like to do, if let's say we're all on site over here, and you know, we got someone up in tower, we got someone here watching there. Um, I kind of like throwing it one way. So what I would like to do is I want to go up here and I want to throw it there. What that does is it allows me to look and kind of peek slightly without having, without exposing myself too much. And I have some of a one way where I can, if I see another feet, then I have a, a clear shot at their head. Now this is only B site. 
arcade uh let's move back on to b site the other way okay we're on everyone's favorite map still fracture uh we're gonna be going through b main this time uh we're gonna use four stars like before i don't like to use the fifth uh i may use the fifth over on a site just to you know throw them off but uh more more than likely i'm going to be using most of my stars on the site that i'm going to go to uh, that's not always the best idea in the world depending on your situation but if we're going straight up just one site we're gonna go quick go fast and that's what we want to do uh these are going to be the stars that you want to get we want to use um so what we're going to do is we're going to let's do our smokes first okay so we're going to do two smokes uh both kind of one ways if you want to call them that we we'll put one here one up here we know both these from our previous one okay so now we got those two we have one two okay so that basically makes it impossible for them to see you from anywhere in this direction over here on the map uh there's no possible way they could see you uh with, with these two smokes okay now that leaves that this area is vulnerable okay we have tower we have over here we have over here there's a lot of places where we could get hit from so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two more stars on each of those parts so what you have two options here if you if the team has been being a little cheeky and well i'm sorry being a rat a bit <laughs> we're, gonna put, we're gonna say that they're right here and uh they need to be concussed so we're gonna try and get if we look closer we're gonna try and get our edge of our little circle okay we want to get as close as we can because no one's going to chill over here no one really ever does that um we want to get as close as we can to this edge being on the wall okay um this is what this is going to do is this is going to help us out in taking the site by it's not going to get them but what's going to do is there's really no way to pull them out otherwise i would be using the uh black hole but it, we can't pull it out far enough if, if i put it right here you look it's not going to reach all the way to this part which is where mo people mostly sit so um we're gonna have that one and then over here we need to we need to suck them out here usually have someone sitting right here uh they're kind of chilling um so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it right here try and get as far back as you can but enough that it pulls them out because some people like to sit back here in that case we don't really have a choice there however it's still going to scare them they're going to be you know they're not going to want to do anything with it okay so we put there and then we have our one star here one star here oh screw that one up we have our one star here up on top make sure it's on top what i just did there that's not going to work i mean it'll work but it's not exactly what you want so what we do is as we're coming on the site we're gonna jiggle peek this make sure that there's no one there no one there no one there and then before i push this corner i want to stun that stuns them but the, here's the part here as i'm stunning them we have to push quickly okay you don't push quickly that stun's gonna wear off and it's gonna be useless so let's put that stun back there um as, as much area as we can get around this area okay so we're gonna do this quickly though all right pay attention we got one two three jiggle peek no one there stun turn that on turn that on suck them in as i'm sucking them in i'm here gonna ding ding uh and then up here get that we got in the site one teammate goes over here checks the arcade he's on pushing out this way as that as that's happening we have two teammates coming over here you can either play here or you can play it here uh, as long as someone's watching up in tower you should be okay that's a really easy way to take sight it's a really quick way to take sight um it's not a slow push it has to be a fast push because our smokes do not last that long so you have to be sure that you are pushing this quickly and your team is getting picks if it falls apart um you have the option of using that last star to say all right guys we're falling back we're falling back you know let's let's put a star up here let's smoke it and then what that does is it protects you a little bit from them catching you off guard if you want to go rotate through mid or if you want to rotate back through the other way um i would definitely put it here well not there but you know close to here you guys can rotate back that way the only issue with that is that now we do not have any more stars left to take a site so you have to use this efficiently because you are using four stars to do this um which is a lot uh but 
other than that i think that's the best way to take this site um there are probably other options but that's personally my favorite uh let's go over to a side and see what we got going on over there okay we are over on a site on everyone's favorite map fracture per of course you know uh so what we're gonna go through is a few different ways to take a main well the issue with a main is that it's almost like a funnel like it, it, if you've ever been you know put your finger over a hose and it goes fast you know th there's not much room for everyone to breathe if you will so the biggest issue with a main is that they can peek any corner and they'll more than likely be able to take your whole team out um they can sit up here all right we got our jiggle peek here that boom 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 dead oh shit. okay well we're all dead oh and then we got someone up here a little cheeky bastard sitting up here it's, you know, jiggle peek in here. Oh, man. Well, well, then we're all dead, too. Because, you know, if that guy didn't get him, he's going to get him. He's going to call us out and tell him tell us where we are. Okay, sweet. Well, that's also an issue, too. We have someone that could be back here, which is a normal common spot for people to watch. You know, as they're coming out right there. Okay. And then we have also someone that could be back here. Okay. And, you know, as we're coming out, boom, boom, boom. So we have four different spots where we're really vulnerable on this site. And you know what? I have Astra, which means I have ways to prevent this. Okay. First thing I want to show you that a lot of people don't know, your concuss will hit both bottom and top. No matter where you put it, we're going to put a star right here. Okay. We want to try and get as far out as we can because no one's going to sit back here really. Uh, if they're watching this area, they shouldn't be sitting back here. So we're going to go, go a little bit as far out as we can. Um, if you're concerned about them being on stairs or something of the sort, uh, then obviously you want to go further out. But uh, let's say the default spot, you know, where they stand is right there. Okay. So if I'm under, okay. If I'm, in, uh, if I'm on the enemy team, I'm jiggle peeking this. Oh, well, oh, dead, dead, dead. Well, then Astra comes through and flexes her shit. Oh, no. Oh, I'm concussed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, so that's concussed for about oh, five seconds. So we come out and then we can shoot them there. Okay. Now, also, a few things here. We're either going to get concussed or we're going to be running out like this, like, you know, because we're scared. Here, little girl. All right, let's go. Um, now the other person that could be here is right here. They could be jiggle peeking right here, you know, and we're all dead as soon as they come through. Okay. Well, just so happens that when they see that star, not only is that going to scare them, but they're not going to have time to react. That's why I always suggest doing the stars about when you get to about right here ish, put your stars down, make sure your team's ready to go. Um, if you have to do it more like at you kind of want to do these almost sequentially, but this one's the one you kind of want to do the fastest because you don't want them to expect it, okay? Or if you want, you can do the other stars first, and then this is the last one before you guys push, okay? So, but as I said, someone up here, even though I put the star here and I hit the bottom, I'm still going to be able to... Oh, no. Oh, I'm still concussed. Oh, no. I don't have enough... Oh, no. Okay. I have no idea what the hell I'm shooting. Okay, so like I said, you got about three seconds-ish for that to wear off um and then you're kind of screwed again however now we have to worry about the people over here we have to worry about the people up here okay or back here okay so the way we counteract that like i said once you get about right here make sure someone's watching this door while you put your stars up or you could even go right here okay so we put one here we already got that one down okay next one we want to put up here by satellite and we want it to suck i keep on saying suck, suck them out but yeah we want to use our black hole so that we have a direct line of sight on them okay so we're gonna look here let's see take a look all right so i have a direct line of sight and right there okay let's just go like right there there okay and so if i look here i draw a line of sight maybe about right there ish so we want the middle of the star to be about right there however we want to be sure that this edge of the star or of the circle reaches this corner if we don't then it's a waste of a star because someone could still be chilling here and we don't want that someone can be chilling here chilling here or even back here if they want to so we want to get as far back as we can well that we still have a uh line of sight to shoot them okay so got the one there and we're gonna use that one to use a black hole to suck them in now 
I'm going to do the other two smokes while we are uh, talking about this one. Uh, this one, we want to go far back out as we can, about in between these two, about uh, halfway. Okay. And then our last one, this one, you have to be careful. The amount of times I did this during the tutorial and I kept on hitting it down here, uh, it was quite a few. So we want to go up on this top corner. Okay. What this is going to do is it's going to block not only over here, but it's also going to help block right here. Anyone chilling behind this box, uh, it, it, it's going to be a little, really, really good way to uh, prevent them from tap or coming out and uh, just one tapping us. Okay. Okay. So what we want to do is before we even peek this corner, we want to concuss them. Then we go out here. We want to use our black hole on them. Make these right there. And look at that. We have sight. Okay. One person goes over here. One person goes up top. And then we check over here. One person checks over here, make sure there's no one there. We have Scythe, now we have to watch Scythe. Now we have our last star to use. Now, 90% of the time, more than likely, the teams are gonna be coming from mid. Okay, so what do we do? Well, you have a few options here. We have our last star and we're holding Scythe. Um, more than likely, I just put it there, but the option, the better option is to put it right here. Now it's not going to, make it completely invulnerable, but this way you'll be able to see them at least peeking through. So we go like this, okay? It kind of blocks off most of that. They can still come through in this area right here, but you you, you also have a easy headshot. You have a little bit of cover. And as soon as it goes away, you come back here and check over here. All right, all right, now it's time for a satellite, our favorite, favorite body. Now, so here's the thing about this. This one's a little tricky because we usually have a lot of people waiting here, here. Uh, they'll peek here or they can be waiting up here. Uh, I mean, but the issue is, well, there's not really an issue with it, but the thing is, you kind of got to use all five stars here. Okay, so as we're coming up to site, we want to place a few stars here. We're gonna go in detail about the platform ones in a bit, but first we want we go into our thing. We want to place our stars so that we are not able to get hit from a few different areas. Uh, if we're taking satellite, there might be someone here. There might be someone here. There's a few different spots as we showed earlier. But the biggest thing, we want to put it on this top corner here. So we have one way as uh, the next one we want to put is up here. What this is going to do is this is going to protect us from up in a uh, tower over here. I call it tower. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, those are the two that we're gonna use. Those are our smokes. Those are the two that are going to prevent them from seeing us. However, we also have to put one here. What a lot of people like to do is I like to sit right here, kind of hide back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and Stop. come out or what we should be doing. Now, what we wanna do is put it over as far as we can so that we have a good line of sight on them. As we're coming from this angle, we have a chance of getting shot from over here. So it's kind of, we gotta be careful when we're doing this and your team has to be aligned with what you're doing. So put one here and that is going to be our concuss. And we'll put another one there. And then the last one, uh, we're gonna go over into detail here in a sec is this one right here. We gotta be sure that we have this. Okay. The biggest thing about this is you can play it slow. You can play it fast. It's up to you. Let's not go with the star right here for now, because what I'm what I would tell you is we put a, a black hole star like right here, suck them out. Um, but 90% of the time, your team's gonna be able to take care of this person because this is a very common spot. People will sit, uh, and so we have to worry about that right now. Okay, uh, you have two teammates come here, two teammates come this way. Uh, now, if you're splitting site, we're not getting into those right now. We're just gonna talk about the per site sort of uh, entries, and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, so. Let's say we are going over to here. We go over here, check. Oh, no one there, no one there. I always check that corner. My teammates checking this corner while I'm checking this corner. All right, all right. Now we're about to get on the site. So we have a few things we need to do. First thing, so we don't get head tapped as we're coming here because the other team heard us. We open that one up and then we do the other smokes. So we're gonna do our smokes first this time, whereas before we did our concussion first, but this side, you wanna do your smokes first. We're gonna do this super quickly, so pay attention, because it is important, I'll go into details after. As we're coming up, 
I don't want our heads to even peek. I don't want them to know we're here because we're walking. I'm going to go here. There's one, two. First thing we're going to do is we're going to almost do it sequentially. We're going to go C, Q. So two teammates check here. Two teammates check here while they're stunned. We push on the site and we have sight. Now, seems simple enough, right? Um, well, so here's the thing. The, th the biggest issue that we're going to run into is, yeah, we want to cover as much area as we can, but you also want to be able to hit them. So if we are looking here, where is the best place that we're going to have a line of sight? Okay, well, right here. So we're noticing that our first, we don't want to peek too far to hit this, all right? But however, we also want to be sure that if there's someone back here, we can still hit them from over here. So we're going to check here and then check down here while this uh, black hole is going. But again, we want to make sure we have a line of sight right here. Okay, so we want to look right there. All right, so we got that little marker there. Let's go there. All right, our marker was like about right here. Basically, what you're looking for is that it's not behind this. You don't want it to be behind that. You want it to be on top, about right there. You see that little line? You kind of see that little line at the bottom? And about right there, okay? Somewhere around those lines, um, what that's gonna do is if you're on top, uh, you are gonna get sucked in. But the more important part here is I like a lot, a lot of people like to sit back here and just kind of peek this, you know, this area, where, you know, peek small, small little areas. But even then, I do this. Oh, they're stuck, they're stuck, they're stuck, they're screwed. Oh, and they're dead, okay? Not only that, but they're vulnerable. They have no shield. It's a lot easier to kill them, okay? So this is a very, very, very important star to have on a site. Now, if you want to do it twice, you can do uh, what a lot of people will do is they'll come up here and you can use multiple stars. So let's say I want to suck them in and then I want to concuss them, okay? So I'm going to go, remember how I have it like right there-ish? So. Uh, use black hole and cuss and everyone over here is all nice and dazed let's show you how it looks from their perspective okay so let's say i'm i'm, I'm peeky peeking here oh no whatever's going to happen oh and i get sucked in oh no oh i am so screwed oh there goes the whole team and i'm dead okay same thing for the bottom Looking concussed too. Um, you gotta be careful with your concussion though, because like I said, if you look at, not circle, you know what I mean. But, so if we're up top, go in here, we're gonna have them suck out here. And then more than likely, you're gonna wanna put this out a little bit further so that you get more area. And if we're on the bottom, uh, we get sucked in, oh no. Oh, and I'm screwed. Okay. Now, however, that uses all your stars. You have nothing to use for the rest of the match, but that's not, that's kind of the point of Astra is to use her abilities to get on site safely. Okay. Uh, like I said, I'm not by no means an expert. I'm not a pro player. I'm not that high ranked either, but I am very good at team tactics. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I love doing these. They're so much fun for me. Stay awesome. Don't forget to check me out on twitch.tv slash follow TV, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays at 6 p.m. Uh, Saturdays at noon. And yeah, bye guys.